Hey guys, real quick before we get to this video, I got a double promo two in one. First, my Fox body is going up for sale today, October 15th at Bring a Trailer. Uh, it's an auction for charity. 50% of the total proceeds of the car will go to the charity of the winner's choosing. It's also going at no reserve, so it will sell. I'm not going to change my mind and decide, no, nah, that's not enough money. 15th to October 22nd, we're going to do a live podcast commentating the last hour of the sale. It's going to be really fun. So if you want to take my Fox body home and do a little money for a charity, get over to Bring a Trailer. I will put the link in the description of this video as soon as it goes live on the 15th. Secondly, you might notice the shirt. This is our new Quick Like a Fox shirt to commemorate the Fox body in all its glory. This is up in all different colors in our store now. I will put a link to it. Uh, it's a really, really cool shirt. It's great material. It fits well. And uh, if you love Fox bodies, this is a good shirt for you. So now enjoy this video and happy bidding on my Mustang. Morning everybody, welcome to a very nice day in an anonymous canyon somewhere. Um, this is really cool because turbo BMW, <laughs> right? This is a 2011 BMW 335iS that Chris brought up. Chris, nice to meet you. Nice Thanks to meet for you. coming up. I appreciate Thank it. You. Early morning. Um, your car is super clean. Super Thank you. clean. <laughs> I mean it, it really like interior, exterior looks brand, brand new. But for um, a 2011. For a 2011, I mean, <laughs> right, it looks it looks like Except for like one scratch, like showroom ready, um, but it, it is definitely not stock, which no. we're going to learn about soon. Um, tell us what you did to it and how long you had it, because this thing has a lot on it. So I've had it for three and a half, almost four years. Um, originally, a little bit of history is I bought a GTI, a 2012 GTI, uh, loved it but it wasn't a great platform to build off of. Mm -hmm. And I learned real quick, front wheel drive isn't gonna wanna do what I wanted to do. Because <clears throat> my roommate at the time worked at a turbo shop called Pure Turbos. So we were gonna build it and then we just kinda went, nah, this is not the greatest platform. Okay. So it's good for you to have that with that where wherewithal though, instead of like yeah. try, 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 spend yeah. twenty grand and go, nah, you know, nah, this didn't work. Right. I just blew all this money and we just kinda learned real quick. It's like, oh well, let's look at three three five eyes. And Jesse, the owner of Peter Turbos, says, Hey, go look at ISs. We actually got the chance to ride in an IS to Bimmerfest like five years ago. Okay. And it was nine hundred horsepower monster. Jeez. And it was freaking comical because the guy wanted to put, we just put clutch packs in it. And the guy's like, I need to wear those clutch packs in a little bit before I dyno it. <laughs> and it's like, we'll drive you, it to Bimmerfest. Yeah, let's wear them out on the street. I mean, I guess, so, yeah, that's where you break them in. So. <laughs> we're, we're running this car out to Bimmerfest in the in the rain with our triple eights and 900 horsepower. And we're just like, we're going to die. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I need one of these. Okay, so, well, what would you like about it? Why, why, why'd you buy it? The, build, the, the fact that you can build the hell out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so many options. The, the fact that it's 2011 dual clutch. Um, they only offered the N54 with the dual clutch in this model for three years. Yeah. So cool. it's, it was like a limited kind of edition. I, I, everybody kind of says it was like the, the predecessor to the new M3s to where it's like, here's your twin turbo six in line six with a with a dual clutch. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like they tested it out, test mule on this, and this, they said, hey, it works. Do it to everything else. So, so I would, really like so the what'd fact. So what would you put on it? And then we'll talk about the rest once we yeah. get going. I'm sure that yeah. some of the young people are getting bored because <laughs> your attention stories. span of a fly. That's not your fault, <laughs> that's, that's the internet's fault. Um, yeah, but there's a lot going on okay. under the hood. It looks super mint, by the way. Insulation's really clean. Everything's very clean. So it's full bolt-ons, of course. That basically means uh, charge pipe, um, down pipes, uh, intercooler, JB4, uh, all fed by <clears throat> MHD, back-end flash. That's tuned by Pure Evil Tuning uh, out of Hemet. Um, or they also have Manifee. a lovely daycare. Yeah. <laughs> I would not know. Sorry. Pure evil daycare. <laughs> um, so it's got all the bolt-ons that you can possibly need. And then it's got the next step up of inlets, um, blow-off uh, recirc valves, um, and pure stage two turbos. 
So you're telling me, yeah, so they basically <clears throat> increase the size of the turbo on yeah. the internals, but not the, they use the stock uh, housing. It's basically right? a stock housing. They take it apart, machine everything out. These ones are actually full custom castings. Oh, wow. So everything right. coming off because they're turbo folds. Right. Um, oh, yeah, they yeah. do complete custom castings. Wow. Um, so the exhaust side is it flows even better. And then you got the inlet size, which I think, I, I don't remember the exact numbers, but they basically take it from like inch and a quarter wheel to like almost a two inch wheel. Wow. It's ridiculous. I forget the millimeter size. But so that's like a 70%-ish increase. Yes. In, in, uh, and that's the biggest side. thing is what people do is they throw all these bolt-ons on it and you still run these tiny little stock turbos. True. Well, it's like you're, that's the dam. That's your floodgate. Right. And so you're spinning these things like crazy, trying to make all this boost. And then all of a sudden it's like, well, you blow the turbos out because they're spinning too fast now. Right. Well, so, you, just, you just, your power band yeah. gets lower like the Fiesta that, that Thad and Matt had. Like, mm -hmm torque got huge down below but the power just run up at the top because you overspin it yeah. um all right we're gonna go do you like it in manual or, or sport drive i love what do you like manual with okay. the paddles all um right. we'll see it's good because this is a 2011 dual clutch yeah so we can kind of see how she do and right now we'll, we're starting off at 17 psi and you're looking probably about 470 tire, uh, horsepower to tires. All right. And it makes power all the way to seven grand. Whoop, the belt loot, there we go. Yeah, it definitely, ooh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely pulls all the way to seven grand. That is very nice. Wow, it's got a much better sound inside than I expected. When you, you know, went by it, it's like, all right, yeah, it sounds like, an inline turbo. Yeah. It, even these are so much louder than um, than the new like M4s and M3s. Uh, I mean, I know you have a giant exhaust on this thing, but this is all it's three inch downpipes to uh, a single three and a half with a big five inch resonator. All right, so I shouldn't really give the, the car credit. Uh, Wow, that, that makes all the good turbo sounds. Yeah. That is awesome. I love the sound it makes. It grips like crazy. We haven't even gotten into the suspension stuff Right, yet. so you, you put uh, M3 control arms, M3 control front arms, rear. Front rear. Um, we put camber plates on it. It's got Dynan Springs front and rear. Okay. It's got, um, the camber plates kick the front to about two and a half degrees camber up front. Which is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, that, that's aggressive. Yeah, um, I did that on purpose just for today. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn around because this person is that 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 car is going at a pretty good clip. For there yeah. are some commuters up here that terrify me. I've seen <laughs> I've seen Accords passing Camrys. This is a true story on a double yellow on a downhill. Like I'm going to work. No, I'm going to work. <laughs> I'm late. I'll beat you to work first. All right, so you've got aggressive front camber. Um, yeah, it's noticeable. Like I can make little minute adjustments mid-corner and feel each one through the seat, which is really good. And uh, if you want, we can get real crazy and go 20 PSI. We will do that in a few minutes when I kind of get used to this. Yeah, get used to it first. Thank you. A couple of turns, like, yeah, let's do it. Yes. What brakes did you do? Uh, the fronts are F30 M3 brakes. Okay. And it has hog pads. Uh, the pedal big, feels really nice. Big ES, ES, ECS, ECS, sorry, tuning? ECS tuning uh, rotors, front and rear. Uh, the backs are still single piston. <laughs> and I love the sounds it makes. Yeah, it makes really good turbo sounds. And it shifts, it's just pretty quick. I mean, it's definitely slower than than the new dual clutches. Like Actually, we're yeah. not in sport. We're not in sport? That's sport mode now. That's so weird. You put it in manual and it's not in sport mode. I know, you that's have to a, push That's all button. the BMW settings, right? And, all right? Yeah. All right, I will say that downshift was, as we entered the corner and fairly seamless, did not, did not upset the chassis at all. Yeah, man, it pulls all the way to seven. Like, it, <laughs> it feels, I won't say it feels naturally aspirated,
refrigerated, but it has a, a higher power band uh, than most of the modern turbo cars, definitely. You know, yes. every, everyone today is like, makes max torque, and you know, down at 1400, 1500, and uh, because most people that test drive cars, yeah. They're gonna go up to they're maybe 3,000 RPM. They're, they're gonna short shift everything. Right. And yeah. they're gonna go, ooh, this is quick. Hey, it's fast. And the dealership, go, the dealer guy goes, I know, da 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 da. Yes, it is. It, you, you should know. buy my car. Exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah. thanks to Pure Turbos for allowing that to happen because at 5,500 RPM, these things stock just fall on their face. Your power, your torque curve just drops off. So oh, yeah. you normally short shift at 55. And with opening up those floodgates I was talking about, you basically just get full kill all the way to seven. You really do. I mean, I'm driving it right now in third gear between five and six and a half RPM, and it basically feels NA. Uh, and we've got another car up here today. We've got an E92 M3, which makes like, I think 85% of the torque is made across 75% of the power band or something. I, I, I gotta read re that spec. Basically, yeah. You know, that, that was like a great example of an NA, a wide band, and an NA. Oh, BMW Concept Car. Concept Car. Um, and this feels really good in terms Another of Another one. I mean, I'm barely dipping in the throttle right now. The only thing I know is, whoa. Oh, oh Supra. Supra. Is <laughs> the front feels really buttoned up, and your brake pedal is, like, there's no slack in it at all. The, I mean, that bite is really good. Um, the back just feels like it kind of wobbles around yes. it gyrates a little bit in the I corners. put bushing inserts in the subframe okay I'm not fully happy with it um, right I'd like to do real bushings um, I think that I still get the help. little butt like dog wiggle in the back that's exactly what it, yeah, yeah exactly what it's like it's like shake your rump like a rump shaker yeah. um, other than those bushings I think the only other thing I want to do to this is a limited slip oh yeah so yeah. wait what so this is an IS which came with well, it's twin turbo engine instead of the single of 2011. And then it also came with like 20 more horsepower because, they, yeah. you know, they couldn't... Because they can punch in a couple of numbers and... And sell an M3. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I'm surprised it didn't come with a limited slip. So what did it come with besides the engine and, you know, the dual clutch and a little right. bit more power? Is there the anything engine, else? engine, a little bit more power. It came with a bunch of little, like, cool interior stuff. It's... It looks... The interior is a little bit different. That's the... One of the big things. Um, Suspension-wise, brake-wise, everything's basically a 335i. Gotcha. The biggest thing was the dual clutch. Um, and the fact in 2011 they went N55? Yes, they did. And in this they, they stayed N54. Single. Right. Um, yeah, N55 also got uh, the variable valve timing. Um, that was just trying... That thing, if the traction had been off right there, it would have just done a burnout shift. Yeah. Uh, it, it cut the power, because this is 2011, it cut the power pretty aggressively. Yep. You know, instead of today where it knows just how much to take away. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, I, I think this feels really good. Um, the steering feel is much improved over some of the other 335s I've, I've, uh, 335s I've driven. And that is, I think, partially because of the camber. I totally agree. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Like stock, they come with like 0. 0.9 degrees of camber. Yeah. That's it's getting... like, that's nothing. Yeah. And yeah, actually, when you go into good. turns, it goes positive. Jeez. Yeah, that's <laughs> not good. Um, yeah, I think it'd be just, if you're going to keep it for a long time, you know, a diff would probably help a bit and yeah. it just makes it more fun, too. It'd make it more fun and it'd wear the tires evenly. Is <laughs> it <laughs> your right tire wears out like twice as fast as your left? I have to rotate right to left. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I've never even heard of that. Um, all right, let's go to full kill mode since we're... Should I pull over to go to map six? No, you since can just slow down a little bit. I can go to settings and this is all via I mean, the JB4 thing app. Feels, there's no squeaks in here. There's no rattles. Uh, I mean, you bought, I, I don't know if you bought a really well-kept example. And it was you kind of care of it beat, or what? and I oh, fixed wow. a lot of it. Okay. So right now, let me double check. I mean, this. I, I know that the uh, you are the now. gimbal shots will not do it justice of how <laughs> clean it looks in here, but I, I really like these cars, and they're they're so much cheaper than an E46, and you get you get a lot of car. I mean, in stock form, they're basically like a really good GT car. Yeah. Um, it, it takes a, a bit of work and money to get them up to like track ready. Yeah. But if you don't want to go to the track, you get a really quick GT car with tons of untapped potential. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, 
the, the thing that kills it and everybody hates is what goes wrong maintenance wise yeah water pumps fuel injectors uh ignition stuff spark plugs but it's all fixable i mean i have an e46 so i have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> yeah i mean well everything's fixable that's everything that's fixable. a funny that's another yeah. funny uh, line i'm gonna use i, I, I uh, remember it's all fixable it's like yeah, yeah i mean true <laughs> i remember i remember something you said in uh in a, in a previous one take where you said you know, rotating assembly, good. Right. Uh, just read the fine print. Everything else around it breaks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, uh, sunken ships, like the masts are still, you know, the cannons are still made of metal. Like, they're, yeah. they're relatively intact. Um, all right, are we in map six? We are in map six, 20 okay. PSI. We'll go a little past our turnout, but so 20 PSI. So we were at 470 wheel, now we're at 550. 550. I, I like how you go for the grab handle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we have DCT in its first stage. Jeez, dude. <laughs> this is a really good power band, dude. This, uh, I'm going to get made fun of for saying dude a lot, but that's where my brain's going when it's kind of in full to pay attention mode. And, and, and you've been tired and you didn't sleep well. That's very true. I'm, yeah. I'm awake now. Yeah, yeah. I'm awake now. This will get you awake I just got quick. back from 2,500 mile road trip in like five days, but man, this, but it still feels really usable. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, like, let's, let, let's talk, let's see, I'll let off a little bit, go down to four, third gear. I mean, there's a tiny bit of lag, but it's a turbo. Like, that's kind of what yeah. you want. I think there's, if, if turbos became, can't come to feel exactly like an NA motor, I think it almost ruins the point of, the fun of turbos a little bit, you know? Oh, yeah. You lose that anticipation of like, wait for it, and then boom, you know, yeah. it's that's fun. Yep. Too much lag is terrible, but oh, too much lag. A little bit. Like... And if you stay, if you stay on the throttle and keep it a little bit warm, yeah, it's no problem. Too much lag, you're almost pulling over to get coffee. Yeah, very true. Mm. Came up on that a little too quick because you know, 550 wheel horsepower <laughs> on E40. So I am running some E85. Oh, you are. Okay. Yes. Uh, how low? Big tires, nothing rubs as far as I know. You should be fine. Yeah, there's no rub. Yeah. Um, this is your daily, right? Yep. Feels really good. Sounds good on the inside. I mean, exterior sounds like an inline six turbo car. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the shifts are much quicker now in sport mode. They're, yeah. you know, the upshift isn't not, it's not imperceptible the way some of the really good new dual clutches are where you can like change four gears in a mid corner and the car doesn't get upset, but it's pretty darn quick. Yeah. Definitely quicker than a human being. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I like the, uh, both blinkers pop up for shifting. Yeah. That's your shift light. Cool. Just a little oh, understeer, yeah. not much. It's not bad. I will, in, the, in that moment, the steering feel kind of went to nothing. It was more seat feel mm -hmm. that, that I was able to notice that little bit of understeer happening, but. I mean, a car can't be everything. And yeah, this is it can't be totally perfect. a really good cruise missile. Um, and a very sporty drive in the corners, too. Damn. Nice. Yeah, this was fun. Awesome. This is well done. <laughs> Glad you well enjoyed done. it. I think, I think, you know, you, you if you do those rear bushings yes. and play with the back a little bit, um, it'll just get rid of some of that. Like you said, the wagging it's dog. Little, well, yeah. Yeah, a little, little yeah. gerish. But otherwise, real clean, real fast. Mm -hmm. uh, those bigger turbos, that's real good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's real good. That's something I would suggest. What? They just recently moved uh, down the street to a bigger shop, bigger facility. Um, they have a lot of cool stuff, and they have a lot of badass cars. And you should definitely, if you ever do a shop tour, mm -hmm. check them out. Hit them up. Um, Jesse and uh, Chuck. Chuck is uh, Turbo Chuck on Instagram. Okay, Turbo Chuck on Instagram. They freaking check their stuff out chuck has a 900 horsepower civic four-door civic <laughs> four-door civic oh my god um jesse's got an m6 with thousand plus horsepower and m4 with 750 horsepower Jeez. It, they they're they're not of course they're mad. That's, that's where they work yeah like that that's and they the just do amazing water. stuff they do great work and um i just fucking everybody who helped work on this thing fucking did a good job yeah they did yeah. yeah it's it's all it all works really well looks looks really good the install super clean um yeah man thank you very much for bringing this thank up thank you this thing was a hoot fun. i'm awake now <laughs> um yeah 
man, I don't know what to, uh, no, don't know what else to say. If you're looking for like a good all-around car, I mean, that's what these do. That's that's what BMW always strives to do. But what's good now is you can get one that's real fast and pretty modern inside and out for a really good deal. Uh, they are not that expensive. So check those out if that's what you're looking for. Um, you know, listen to the podcast, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, the usual stuff. I am fake Zach Clapman on Instagram and uh, Zach Clapman on Twitter. Check us out. Uh, check out our podcast if you don't listen to it. I know a lot of you don't already, and we put it on YouTube. Blah, 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 plugs, plugs, plugs. I can't think. This was <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, guys.